see the dimension is one zero one zero zero one one zero zero one. So what I will do here, <clears throat> press Alt uh, W and uh, come into the front view, take a plane here. Yeah. So just and press the left mouse button to exit from the create mode and go to the modify panel and just put the one 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 zero zero one tab one zero zero one. This is the length and width of the real image and press F3 to get into the shaded mode. And then just press M to get the material editor and select your material, material swatches and press left, left mouse button and drag and drop on the, the plane. Otherwise, the second method is select your plane and uh, select your swatches and uh, press this third option, assign material to selection. Now, the process will be repeated as earlier as already told you that this process we are going to repeat multiple times. So again, I will choose this option and I will choose the bitmap, bitmap under the general uh, option. Choose bitmap, okay. And now I can see here lamp two. So now open it. Now you can see here. Okay. And uh, close it. This one. Come here. And uh, now press G and select the line and uh, start creating from here. Click here. Come here. Now come here. Come here. Okay. Come here. Come here. Just back a space. Okay. Press a right click. I'm trying to adjust my first this. Otherwise, another thing is start creating this. Press backspace. So that you can get back, get only here, get only here. You make it here. Right click. First of all, before getting into deep, I'm just going to make it into detail. So select this one come into the vortex and uh, select this part, make it smooth and uh, make it a little up here. Select this one and make it bezier corner. Okay. I think we are here we have two vortex one another vortex I want so press refine you can put another vortex here and and bring that vortex little down like this 
Okay. Select this one and uh, go and choose fillet and use fillet. Stand. Okay. Hey, also, you can use fillet to make it round. Okay. Here, you can make fillet. Now, this time here, uh, select this one and make Bezier corner. And now select, make it arc here. Make it a little more. Now select this one and this one, and then fillet it. Make it fillet. Select this, 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 and make it a fillet. Okay. So this is the shape. Now here we will create it. Select the vortex. Make it fillet. Now come here. Select these two vortex. And make it make it basic corner. And now I want here in R. So make it like this one. Select this both vortex and make it fillet. Here I'm getting a issues. See here. Select this one. This both vortex and make it fillet. Here I'm not getting fillet. So let me find out the the is really so why it's happening so i'm just going to click here and select it it's not working so select this one and again go and choose the corner then select both vertex and do the fillet now it's working so remember one thing suppose if you are having issue in fillet somewhere check your vertex and make sure the edge should be in corner. If your vertex will be in corner, you are not going to have any issue in fillet modifier. So, again, I'm going to create a new spline, select the spline, and uh, start creating this, this backspace. Yes. Come here. Press shift. Okay. Now go to the vortex and uh, put it here. Make it in corner. Uh, uh, one more. I want to once user refine option to put another vortex come here wait okay select this this both vortex and that should be select okay and uh, select this vertex and use here smooth. Okay. Make it also smooth and uh, bring it here. Okay. And here use fillet. Okay. Now see the shape uh, is looking much better. Now I'll have to create this burner. 
again. So select the line and uh, come here. I'll just uh, okay. Say I'll just come here and. Uh, Come here, come here, come here. Press backspace. I want a straight line here, a straight line here, a straight line here. Okay. Now come into the vortex. And here I'm using basic corner, make it a arc, click and make it a face here. It's, it should be like this shape. And uh, here, uh, this one, I want to make it smooth. No, that should leave like this. Make it a basic corner, basic corner. That should be in arc like this. Okay. And this both should be fillet to make it smooth. Okay. This should be fillet like this. Okay. And uh, this one also, I will create a new line. Okay, so that will start uh, from here, from here. So it will look like uh, this, this, okay. Come straight through here, here, come here, here. So come to the vortex and this should be in a round shape, everything. So make it a little away, select this both, go to the fillet and use this, use this a little arc. Okay, select this one, this should be like this, this should be also like this one, okay. and. Uh, one vortex I want here. So use refine and select this vortex and put it downward and make it smooth. Okay. Select this one. This will be look like this. And uh, choose this one. Okay. This is look like in in concave shape. Here again I will use that like this. I will use this one here. I'll use this one here also. Okay. Select this one Bezier. Use it this in arc. Okay. And at the moment everything is looking fine. And every everything which I'm creating, that's gonna use only left here. And this both stand that will be created with the different method that will create with the help of uh, bevel profile. So that will uh, create letter. First of all, I'm going to create uh, the easiest one, which is only going to uh, made with the help of letter modifier. So again, I select this one here and uh, come here. And let me find out. Yeah. Okay. This is a bit dif different. Yeah. Click here. Come here. And uh, come here. Okay. Come here.
just bring it straight to him. Okay. Now modify that one according to my shape. So make it smooth. Make it a little fillet. Use your fillet. No, don't use your fillet. First of all, make it corner and select both this this option and make Bezier corner. Okay. Now move it a little arc like this like this okay this is okay select this one and make feel it Okay, now use, uh, go to the effect pivot only, bring its pivot into almost center and select this one, bring its pivot into almost center, almost center, select this one and drag it into center, select this one and drag its pivot into center. Drag this pivot into center. Almost we are done. Now I'm going to apply the lathe modifier. So coming to the modifier list, choose L, lathe, use this one. So uh, uh, just a little adjustment you'll have to do. Bring it uh, a little here. OK. Select, uh, select this copy, select this one and paste. By this, you don't need to go again, again and search your, your letter. You can copy your modifier and you can paste it. Go to the axis, make it here. Okay, select this one. You can also paste or you can search let here. Adjust a little bit axis if if you find that you need to adjust it. Okay. Here is the perfect. Now select this one, this one, and choose let and adjust its axis a little bit. So that now it's good. Select your this shape and make let's say it's working. It's okay. Select this one, choose let's say. Now this is your shape. Okay. So by the time we have created uh, this shape. Now I'm going to see all uh, Q, isolate this one. And this is the shape, okay. So coming to uh, the, it was uh, front. Excuse me. Yes, yes. How did you do, yes, there, there. How did you do away with the red parts? But then you not yet applied latex. Okay. Actually, that's what I was asking. The next step. The, this part. Yeah, it was what I was yes, asking. Because 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 this is not similar. So we can't make it with the help of latex modifier. We will use okay. it the bevel profile. Okay. And okay. and and the, this shape will be the path. And imagine if you are cutting a slice here. And the, how would be the shape of that slice? That will become the shape. So just we are going to take a 10 minutes break and then I'm coming back and then we will discuss how, how, how would be the shape 
and how we will create the shape and path okay so every detail we are going to create i'm just going to save this one so that we are not going to lost it okay so see you guys in 10 minutes now we are going to create this with the help of a bevel profile so first uh, I will create a path. Oh, I can see. Just uh, make it uh, backspace. Click here and uh, click only one vertex here. Make it here. Press F3. You can see one vertex is here. One another is here. Press F3 again, go to the vertex, select here, and make it base here corner. Okay. Make it around like this. And uh, select this one, make it base here corner. This one is a little round. Bridget corner. This should be like this. Press F3. Yes, it, it should be look like this. Okay. Here is a, a little different shape. So use fillet here. Now you can see another is thing here. And now make it fit okay select all of this one okay this is fine so uh, now what we have to do here little is so select this one make it corner And do fill it one second. No, it's okay. Bring it here. Okay, it's perfect. So you have to just imagine that here there is a elevated part. In in middle of the two elevated part, here is a R. Okay, and this one is elevated part. This one is elevated. This. So, if suppose you are getting a slice, and the what would be the shape of that slice? So, I'm just going to show you uh, new. That would be like uh, this. That that is the elevated shape, and here is the R. Here is the again elevated shape. Here is the R. Okay, here is the again elevated shape. Here is the R. Here is the again elevated shape. The drawing is very weird because I'm using the mouse. And here is the again elevated shape. Okay, so that would be the slice if you're if you're cutting it in the middle of the shape. So we'll have to create the shape like similar to this shape. So I'm going to top view here and uh, come to the top view here and uh, just use a circle. Take the circle. Okay. And uh, make an elevated part. This one I want to make. Okay, so just start here and uh, come here. Come here. Okay, 
go and pick your vortex select this one come into here move it further away okay i am willingly and you can say that i am deliberately created this shape uh from little inside of this circle here. later i am going to demonstrate why i have done this deliberately select this one and fillet it to make it round you can just imagine this is the a bilkul smooth and round shape here okay uh, make it little inward here inside so this type of shape uh, is this make it here Okay, press grid. Okay, that is good. So another uh, another thing is uh, it's it's too high. I want to make it here. Okay, now it's look good. Let take it a little inside. Okay, you'll have to. you'll have to uh, keep it so that it's it's it should be match with this height okay you can see this elevated area so i i think this is the this is going to be perfect now select this one and uh, what i am going to do uh, select the effect pivot only and align the pivot with the center of the circle this time i will use x y and z and current object is my this newly created shape the pivot of this shape will be aligned to the target object center okay i will do okay and now i will use here select exact 90 degree angle okay i want to press shift and rotate it at 90 and i need four piece so there is one already exist here extra i need three pieces so i will only uh, three and i will take it okay so this is the shape i have created anyone having any issues okay now i need to remove this all okay so how how can you do this this is another thing this is another i don't need this so what i will do i will select this one and i will press attach first of all i will convert it into a spline convert it into a spline and then i will attach it attach and attach this one attach this one attach attach now i can see that i am selecting this one and i am moving oh one is one i have left again go and attach it now i can move it yes now i can see that but uh, extra this one i don't need so select this one and go to the spline section and try to come here come down there and try to find the trim what it does it it trims extra spline so i don't need this one extra this one extra delete delete this one i don't need this one okay so you can do this with the trim tool okay good so this is the basic shape but again the problem is that we have so many spline in segment got it i want to weld all of them select all of them and make it weld vertex now i can see there is only one spline click anywhere and you can if you can see there is one spline so here is the uh, that would that would become the path and that would become the shape select this spline and go and find the bevel profile and choose classic 
and then choose pick profile and choose this shape. Um, let me find what is the problem. Again, go select this one. Go to find the bevel prof profile and choose classic. Go to pick profile and click here. Okay, now we got. But the issue is, it's too big in size. So what is the other solution? Select our shape, go to the spline and scale down it. Hello, hello. First, first repeat again. Yes. Let's come again. Repeat again. That repeat. other thing. Uh, that part. Uh, that arm you have just created. First repeat it. Th that one. Okay. The arm. The arm. That that shape you want to get repeated. Listen. Listen. I am just going to delete this one. Here. Here. You are okay. 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 That shape, did you get well? How I have created this, this shape? Yes. Okay. So only I will select this path. Get it? Now I will go to find bevel profile. And here there is two options. Classic, improve. I will choose classic. Then I will choose pick profile. And now I will choose this shape. Now I will get this result. Okay. This is the, sh this is the same which I have already uh, created the POP design inside of my home. Previously, you have, you have already seen. You will have to find out. You will have to get into the process. There are so many kind of shape you can create with the help of web profile. You will have to find out. Yeah, that this is the shape we can create with the help of this. So, uh, next thing is if you want to scale down or increase this, increase the width, you can go to the sub object spline and select the spline, and you can increase and decrease its its length. So I can see here a little. I I need to be increased to make perspective and increase the size a little bit yeah now it's looking good but again the problem is here so what i can do go to the f3 select the path select the spline vortex but again i loses my the modified effects so click this button now i can see here press f3 and uh, bring it here. Now, this one is looking good. So, I want this one uh, exact opposite of the lamp. So, I will select this one and uh, just go and use mirror option here. Here is the mirror. So select the mirror. And uh, I don't want to mirror. I want a copy of mirror. So select this one, copy. I need a copy. And uh, move it here and adjust it. Yeah. So th this, is, this is a shape. Another thing is that I need to create this uh, this shape. So only I will use the spline, then I will use that as spline into renderable shape. Okay. So coming to the front here, press G and uh, use line. Okay, I can't see my reference. So what is the other solution when you want to see your reference? That press Alt X, sorry, select this one and press Alt X. You can make it in accent mode, a little transparent so that you can say, you can see 
this shape. Okay, so the better is to start with the circle. Go and here create a circle. Okay, come into front and uh, rotate it a bit like this. Okay, bring it a little down, increase a little radius here, come to the circle, a little bit radius I want to increase. Okay, now I want to make it uh, a spline, convert it into a spline and uh, this is going to be like this. Okay. Select this one and move it a little uh, behind. This should be in here. Okay, select this uh, spline, vertex, it should be here, it should be in little arc, select this one, this should be here. Okay, now come into the perspective image and uh, how it's, it is. Okay, just give it a uh, refine. You can put it a vertex here. Okay, now delete this segment. I don't need this segment anymore. And uh, just come here and select this this rest of the segment. Another side. I don't need this. Delete every part. Now, here is a thing that uh, I need to create a uh, more. Yeah. It's, it's now attached with this, this portion here. Okay. So come into the front here again. And uh, what I want, I want to create a new line here. Okay. So just start drawing here. Okay. And uh, come here. And put it here. Okay. Another line which I want, I want like uh, this, 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 and this, 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 and this. Okay, so now go and select the vertex, everything here, select this one and go and apply fillet. Do a apply fillet here. Use fillet. You can delete this vertex. Make it first corner and make it bezier corner so that you can change it. Oh, it's okay. Come here, select this one, make fillet. First make it corner, then use fillet. Here use fillet. Come here and make it uh, renderable so that it looks like pipe shape. 
and uh, make it renderable and increase the thickness. Okay, select this one and uh, use here, come and make it smooth. And make it here. Come into the perspective so that I can see here. See, uh, just I'm selecting this and this is plain and isolate all Q, isolate this or both. Now I need this vertex snap to here. So I will go to snapping. I will use vertex snap and I will drag this to here. Okay. Now I can attach this spline, right click and attach with, with this. And I will, I will select this both vertex and I will weld this one and I will use Okay. That is the process. So what we will do again, we will mirror that again. So come into mirror here, yes. and I will choose uh, to copy in Y direction. Okay. Now delete this one. Select this, and uh, select this one. That will be here little here okay that is here make it corner then it's called first make it uh, leave it as it is Okay, that is looking fine in shape. The, the thing is that, see, anybody can help you in tools. Your observation would be that any kind of model product, you can visualize the exact shape of what is the, what is the structure and shape of the model. That is your unique quality because that is, that is the quality the industry need. Okay. Anybody can help you in the production houses. What is the tools? How can you help to make this product? But the, the, the visualization of shape, that, that depends on you. So that looks okay. So go to the mirror and you'll have to figure out in which direction it will be work. Like previously, we have taken the x-axis, but this time it's working in y-axis. So I've taken okay and uh, select this one and attach with uh, the other shape. And now you can select this one and use uh, this and you increase the thickness. Increase the thickness. And again, use, uh, let me see here. It should be little, little thing. Okay, again, go and choose mirror and use in X axis. Okay. Now select this one and make uh, 40, make 40 so that it can, you can see it very smoothly. Okay. Now I'm going to show you, select all of this one and Alt Q. Now you can see here. I was looking. 
select this one make your segment 40 select this one make your segment 40 Now see here. Here, we, what we will do: select the vertex, this one, and uh, move it here. I can come in here. Select the vertex. Click this off button on so that the modifier you can see. Put it inside of your shape. Okay. Another another thing is that. Uh, we'll have to make a hole here. We'll have to make a hole like our shape. And see here, Alt W, Alt Q. I can see this is the holes. This is the hole in different shape. So how we can create this, this type of hole. So we'll explore it later. Uh, we have less time so that right now i'm going to create this one how we can create this this thing so coming to the front here okay and uh, yes i'm going to draw it this type of shape make it here Come here. Get here. Okay. Uh, I should uh, put it in middle of here. Okay. Like this. Make it uh, that like this, like this. Okay, and uh, another thing is that coming to the left view, L here. Okay, no, come into the front and uh, create this shape here here another is here and here here okay so this should be corner and this two corner should be fillet so make it fillet okay Select this one and make it smooth. Don't make it smooth. Make it bezier, not bezier corner. Make it bezier so that you can make it round shape like this. Also select this one and uh, make it like smooth. Let me see how it's gonna work. No, leave it. It's, it's good. Okay, now go and make it renderable. Make it renderable and increase the thickness here. Yeah. Okay, coming to the perspective. The issue is again, which this shape which I have created. First of all, I want to rotate it 90 degree. Use this snapping option. I have just put in, uh, I have just uh, got 90 degree snap angle. So I will rotate it. So it will be snapped on the 90 degree. Okay. Now, 
I want to select this one. And I want this type of shape. So the next lecture I will uh, teach you in detail. Right now I'm going to use only extrude. What it does, later class we will see it in detail. So I'm going to use extrude. And how it works, the amount is zero. You can't see any amount when, when I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to drag it here. And uh, I can't see it just because that I want to make it double layer. So I will use cell modifier. Many times you have the that uh, what is the use of cell modifier? Increase the thickness here and uh, bring it a little bit here and make it upward. Select this shape, bring it here. Okay, bring it a little above. Yeah. Okay, so this is the shape. Just I'm going to select this one, make all Q. You you are just isolating this one. You can see here. Yeah. 